Because if you saw the entire city of Denver seemed to be celebrating and enjoying oh, yeah. the hell of the Nuggets, bringing the Larry O'Brien Trophy to Denver for the first time in the history of the existence of the Nuggets program. And he was thinking all the way back, Nuggets been around a long time. Long yeah. time. Long You've time. seen a lot of people in those very sweet jerseys representing oh, yeah. Mile High City. This is the first time they've been champions. These fans have been waiting to light off fireworks in the middle of a four-way intersection and have a blast and climb telephone poles and everything like that. The place was a zoo. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Nobody told Joker? No. No, that's nope. right. Nope. No. Joker had no idea he fucking won a title. No <laughs> clue. You know, and they say people grieve differently. You know, you watch Dateline and all these different things, and they say, well, the way this person was acting after this person passed away, there's no way that is. Like, well, you don't know how people handle grief and everything like that. Some things are obvious. Some... Also, I guess you don't know how people are going to handle the highest of highs. It's true. Right? Yeah. Joker didn't even fucking know. Joker was told that the parade was on Thursday. Okay, you need to stick around a couple of days. <laughs> All right? Please. We got a whole celebration. The next couple of days is going to be good. And his answer was actually this when he found out that a celebration parade to celebrate him, pretty yeah. much. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, to celebrate him, a city would like to say thank you for doing something that's never happened here before. This is what he said. When is parade? When is parade? Thursday. No. <laughs> I need to go home. Hello. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you go home Friday. There was, uh, no. okay. uh, no. yeah, I'm learning that now. I mean, me and Horse FaceTime yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Crush. Say, I'm winning this for you. I see you Wednesday. <laughs> now, are you telling Horse? Yeah. <laughs> ah! Do I? Yeah, there's videos of him in the locker room, okay? <laughs> Champagne. Everybody's wearing snowboard goggles these days. Mm -hmm. Just in preparation of getting burnt from beer, what? champagne, what? whiskey. What? And maybe who knows what else is happening in those locker rooms whenever you're celebrating something you've worked your entire life for. But the champagne bottle spray, pretty standard operating procedure for celebration when, look at the Joker, give it a go. Well, oh, fuck. What? Uh, I did it. Okay? All right. This like, fucking sucks. This is wrong. Okay. These glasses too small for head. Okay. Yeah. They over ears. Get me out of here. This dude. <laughs> Unreal. The only show I of actual him. joy that we got from old Joker was when he tackled Jamal Murray into the pool. Mm -hmm. yep. Now, I don't know who got this on camera. There was a camera in there, so this was probably pretty difficult for Joker to want to do. But, hey, boom. Mm. You remember all those hours we spent in here rehabbing, getting better, working. Let's go ahead and celebrate his two teammates who have become a one of the best pairings in the NBA, oh, obviously, yeah. 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 the championship pairing in the NBA. A lot of help from all the other pieces, though. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Old cuz out of Kansas. Uh, Brown, Christian, Brown, Brown. Christian Brown. He won three high school titles, yeah. obviously a natty yeah. at Kansas, and now he's an NBA champion in his rookie year. Oh. He was taking the ball to the rack, too. He was doing a lot of things. I enjoyed watching this Nuggets team, and I hope there's a chance. And maybe this is just how Joker is happy. Maybe this is mm -hmm. just his happiness. Mm -hmm. But, Joker, you got to take this in. This yeah. is what you do all the fucking miserable shit for. Now, I don't think Joker sees any of it as miserable. Remember, he does ride four feet away from a horse's ass yep. around town. So I don't think he thinks anything is miserable involving a sport or a game. He's like comparing to people what else they're doing or could be doing. This is easy. This is game. This is nothing. But I hope he does settle in with his brothers who are enjoying the hell out of it yeah. Yeah. and take it all in that he has become one of the greatest basketball players of all time. All his hard work is uh, worth it. And I think we all appreciate how hard Humble he is mm -hmm. and all that. But at some point, Joker, you need to drink it down. Yeah. Big time. You need to take it in because why else are you lifting all them weights? Mm -hmm. Why else are you lumbering yeah. up and down basketball courts 82 nights a year in different cities at six foot 11, 260 pounds, lumbering up? You need to enjoy the moment whenever you get to the mountaintop. And I assume this is just how he does it. But optically, it was hilarious. I was proud of him, happy for him, and congrats to the Nugs. Let's go, Nuggets. Literally didn't want to do the parade. Like, ah, gosh. Got to go home. Mm. I got uh, horses. Who, who tells horse I'm not coming home? <laughs> when, but whenever you start thinking about everything he accomplished, his playoff run, we're in a conversation talking about one of the greatest basketball players to ever live. He doesn't know that, though? Do you question. think that's what it is? I, I don't think he cares. I think he cares about the results, get the job done, and then go on about his merry way. I think that's exactly how he lives his life. I mean, you know, when you – especially and, – and it's one of the things that's not talked about enough, especially when you're somebody for, that's not from the United States of America. In his case, you're from Serbia. When you experience a lot of the things that a lot of folks from foreign countries experience, what happens is is that even though competition is paramount and you place, you place a significant load on – achieving success and what have you in the same breath 
you know what life and death is is truly all about. Perspective. It's literal to you. Yeah. And, 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 and he has that kind of perspective. Giannis has that kind of perspective. A lot of these guys, Luka Doncic and others, have that kind of perspective. So because of that, you know, they'll show up and they'll perform. They don't fear anybody. They do their job. But in the same breath, they understand that it's just a game. And at the end of the day, come hella high water, I'm going to go home and live my life. And that's what Jokic did. He kept steps on the court. He busts your ass. And then after he does that, he goes home and goes on his merry way. The champagne bottle. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> It's so awesome. Just what is this? You know what else? <laughs> it's a you know movie. what else, Pat? Somebody, I, I brought this up on first take today, and I'll bring it up to you right now. You know when I, when I think about Jokic and you saw his brother celebrating with him, everybody forgets something that happened a couple of years ago. I remember last year or the year before? You know, Markeith Morris mm -hmm. when Jokic was dribbling up the court, he sort of lowballed him a, a little bit and hit him, hit him in the ribs. But then he turned his back and walked away like it was no big deal. And Jokic clobbered him in the back, put him down. And when he put him down, he stayed down for a while. He was pretty hurt. He was never the same the rest of that season. And if you saw in the aftermath of all of that, the Miami Heat wanted to get at Jokic really, really bad. Jimmy Butler and all of those brothers. Jokic's brothers, his two brothers, took out a Twitter account. They've never used it before or since. They took it out that one day when Marcus Morris, Marquise's brother, was talking about, oh, so we're going to hit people in the back now. All right, I see how this goes. And the brothers opened a Twitter account to say, excuse me, your brother started it. Our brother finished it. We strongly suggest that you let this go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it was like all of a sudden you start hearing about the Serbian mafia and all of this other stuff and the kind of connections that these guys have. And you realize they are no joke. They, know, they are no joke. And they sent the message. You can compete against our brother, but don't think you're going to do something to him and there's not going to be consequences. A lot of people talk a lot of things about this. You know, oh, nice guy doesn't say much. Nikola Jokic just goes out there and balls. He's not scared. He can ball. He gets on the court. He busts your ass. But in the same breath, you know, you understand. Yeah. You don't need to mess with him because – there are other people that are in his family that will see to it that it is something that is against your best interest. And I don't know anybody tells that story, but I told that story because it's true. Yeah, I remember whenever that all took place because I think that's when we learned about his brothers. Mm -hmm. yep. and they're all the same time as we just yeah. found the video. They're all the same size and they're yeah. all tatted up. Yeah. Yeah. Huge. They're all yeah. like, and they went that's to right. the next Miami game. I think that oh, was yeah. even a part of it. They're like, that's we right. yes, they, they said did. we will be there. They said we will. They and, said we will be there, and they showed up <laughs> at the game. By themselves. Yes, that's right. And dared anybody. And dared anybody to mess with them. <laughs> and nobody, nobody messed with them. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah, I mean, anybody that still takes horse as their mode of yes. transportation, mm -hmm. you got to think there's some sort of <laughs> mental grit in there. Oh, yeah. Right. No, you know, we'll take our time. We'll do this the old-fashioned way. And also, another thing that has come out is obviously that Joker got drafted during a Taco Bell commercial. And if you watch that Taco Bell commercial, he was af actually drafted as a four, right? And then Shaq puts out an Instagram post last night that was pretty much like, hey, welcome. I forget the exact caption. Can you take the ticker right. off there? Welcome uh, to the big man alliance or whatever, to Joker, right? And then he puts up all these stats of all the great centers. So, obviously, he is being considered a center now. He's drafted during a Taco yeah. Bell commercial as a four. Is this, is this kind of – when you're getting this conversation, obviously, it's fucking great. But he just yeah. has to play like 10 more years, you think, to get into the, the full conversation of greatest now, center of all time? Or what do you think Joker's going to have to I, do? I don't think so. I don't think it's going to take that much. I think when you consider him now, I mean, I'm just looking at his numbers. He's averaged 30, 14, and 7 <laughs> on 58% shooting from the field, 42% from three in the NBA Finals. In the playoffs, the number was at 34 and 13 and 9. Um, he averaged a triple-double in one of the series. He swept the Lakers and Anthony Davis. He beat DeAndre and Kevin Durant and Devin Booker. He took out Rudy Gobert and Carl Anthony Towns. And obviously he did what he did to Miami. Bam Adebayo is a pretty damn good player. He's an all-star caliber player. A bit undersized as a big man, but a legitimate six and a, nine and a half, uh, potentially 6'10". And he looked like a small man compared to Jokic. Jokic is not a small dude. He's a big dude that plays big, but he's got a beautiful touch around the basket. He's got a beautiful touch away from the basket. He's 
He's an exceptional passer. His basketball IQ is off the charts. And this is a guy that spent the better part of his first three years in the NBA coming off the bench. He wasn't even a starter. So you see the level of elevation that's taking place. He committed himself to his craft to being the best that he can possibly be. And right now in a league where there's Steph Curry and there's LeBron James and there's Kevin Durant and others, we're literally sitting here and calling a big man the best in the world. 